Hi children, welcome back to our online English classes. Dear student, I hope you all are fine and enjoying watching videos. Keep watching our videos regularly and study regularly. Students, in our previous video, we have started the lesson 4.1 is of fabric. Now, students, so this is of is one person from Greek and he lived 26 years ago. Okay, it is said only. But actually we don't know who is he and where did he live. So students, he was one good storyteller and he was a slave. So because he was a good storyteller, his master released him. Okay. And now he was free. So what happened there? There was a bad king in their kingdom and people wants to change the king. So Aesop wanted to tell a story to show the situation to the people. Okay. So he told one story here and we have as well only finished this first paragraph. Now let's see what happened on page number 95. Love did not move from where it was, they came up to the surface one by one. By and by they grew older and older and began to look down their noses at the new king very soon, they were jumping up and sitting on the king's body. So students, we have seen the frogs were disappointed, with, uh, they were discontented because they don't have any king and they wanted a king to rule them. That's why they went to God Jews. They requested, after requesting, God Jews given them a log into pond and the frog saw the log but the saw the log <coughs> sorry did not move from where it was okay now we know how can log move so students one by one the frogs came outside and sometimes they were sitting on the log also but then also the log is not speaking a single word and it is not moving from its place okay in fact, the frog did not think much of this sort of a king, so some of them went to Zeus again and they begged the god to take away that lazy king and send them a better one. So, by looking at all things, the frogs were again unhappy and they went to God Zeus and asked him that I want one better king. Okay. So, Zeus was annoyed at being start in his way. So he sent a stock to rule over them. As soon as the stock arrived, he began to catch and eat the frogs as fast as he could. So students, when again frog went to God's use, now God's use annoyed. He became angry and just sent one stock to the pond. You know stock, one body it is, this one. Okay, we have seen this one. Stock. And as soon as the stock came to the pond, he was catching frogs and eating, catching, eating, catching, eating. So, in this way, he started to eat all the frogs. By painting this story, Aesop showed the people that the new king could be even worse. So, they ought to be thankful for what they had and not grumble the moral. Okay, so what is here? Whatever now we have. Whatever the situation is there, we should be thankful to the God. Okay, so we should not be grumble. And here, moral is given. The moral of story is one should remain contented with one's lot. Okay, whatever we have, we should be happy with it only. There are many such struggles attributed to Aesop. At first they were not written down and people carried them in their head and young people learned them from hearing older people tell them about 350 years ago a French writer named La Fontaine okay, 1620 to 1695 this is his age put them down in French and now we have their translation in most of all languages of the world. So what is here? La Fontaine on writer is there. So as we know that Aesop fables are only orally stories are these all fables. So 
law content written this all stories in a book and now it is translated in other languages and now they are learning the story okay students i hope you understood this video very well all the new words you write in your notebook in good handwriting read this story once again remaining part we will continue in our next video